Hey guys, Adam from Equipment Door. Well, today I got in the mail my accessory set from a Hedgehog Leatherworks T1 tracker sheet. I have already opened this up, but one thing I wanted to show you guys is the quad that goes in even the packing of this, this sheet. Now, Hedgehog Leatherworks, they do make high end sheets. The Tom Brown Tracker T1, the T2, and also they do one for the K bar. Now, these items are pricey, 25 year guarantee. If anything goes wrong, if the stitch pops, anything breaks, something doesn't work, uh, they will replace it. Paul in the game of Hedgehog is. Great well, the first thing I want to express is even going so far as giving you extra hardware, I mean, this really sets the bar. Old school type um, paper bag with tape in it. Let's open that up. And you got some cloth it's wrapped in jute twine. So, this right here I think is pretty cool because this is great stuff for tinder. So, just pack this up, throw it in your packs or whatever. Jute twine makes awesome tinder. This cloth makes good tinder as well if you ever need to make any torches. Uh, I have made torches in the past, and I'll do a torch video here in the near future, maybe when it's a little bit warmer. But this is just great cloth. I mean, just the packing that goes into this is just phenomenal. There we go. So you can see, very, very attractive piece. Okay. Now, so let's get our, our tracker in the sheet. Now, one cool thing that I like about Hedgehog is they're, they're never satisfied with improvements of their products. Now, this... This is the second knife that he put the accessory pouch on in the ferrous steam rod. Now one thing that's different, as you see he added this bungee cord. So when this starts to get thinned down, I see a lot of sheets that have this type of design. Most of them have them up here. But when you start using these, you know they're going to get uneven, they're going to get small, they're not going to fit in here. And then after a while, that retention is not going to happen. They're just going to fall right out. And he's got the foresight of doing some kind of strap system. If you look, just put this bungee cord right around the ferrocene rod, and that way it's not going to loosen up. I mean, even just the the quality of putting the rivets in this little piece right here, I mean, that's just, it's it's phenomenal quality. Now, these ferrocene rods, I have one on my, my K-bar sheath, too, I believe pretty used to. This is just very thick, as you can see, just to give you a point of reference of how thick this is. Nice. You got rather stack leather. It's got a really good grip here. I can't wait to take this five and try. Hang this around your neck if you're not going to carry it in here. Just a very handsome piece altogether. And then something else that I, I like, and it's little things like this. This is a very innovative pocket. This is almost the same size as my, my micro survivor kit. So in my K-bar sheath, I actually have another micro survivor kit. Pull this up. Alright, great. All great material here. If you can see, if this ever gets snagged on something, you're not going to lose the content. So you actually got to push this through here and pop that up. Another thing. You actually have a little piece of nylon here that you can pull to eject it out. And look at that. He's even packed it with some fire tender for us. I mean, little stuff like that, that little quality really, thing, you know, speaks volumes about craftsmanship. So just little stuff like that, you know, it's not, not a big deal, you know, not any any money or anything, but that's just a great idea. So this right here, we are we're already gonna have the ability to make fire. We have tinder and a fire starting mechanism. Now, I showed you guys before on the Tom Brown Tracker T1 sheath and all of the Hedgehog other work sheath. It's this quick release strap. You just apply pressure and then bam. It's going to come all the way over there. It's a pat He's got that patented. Nice snug glove fit for the sheath. Now, there's a pretty good friction retention to this anyway, as you can see. Probably one of the best friction retentions of any knife that I have. But this strap really does it. I mean, you're really not going to be able to pull that thing out unless you're really trying. Before I bought this knife, I never carried a knife scout style. Now, the original Tom Brown sheath, you know, it's a Kydex sheath, has those metal clips that you can twist, vertical or horizontal. The problem with that that design is those clips don't really cinch down on your belt at all. So once you apply it, the sheath still moves around behind your back when you're trying but to draw it out. This leather sheath, once you put your belt through there this is, and, and strap this down, it's really going to go down on your belt really, really uh, good. Let me do a demonstration really quick. Okay. 
So this knife is two pounds. All right. So, but the weight is almost unnoticeable with this sheet. Very good draw. Now I said before, I usually carry this on the back of my Sabercat bag, and it works really good. So this is pretty comfortable. And then the, if you want to take it off, it's so, out pretty easy. Like I said before, this sheath really made this knife for me. I, you know, I, I was a, when I first got this knife, you guys have heard me talk about it. I wasn't that big of a fan. It took some getting used to. Once I once I got accustomed to it, I think it is an excellent tool. This has some pros and cons, but this sheath is amazing, amazing quality, amazing craft. This is a fold over design. You see, he's got two rows of stitching right here. All right, you see how thick that is. Now, because of this piece of leather right here, your blade will never set on the stitches at all. And the hardware, some of the best hardware I've seen for sheaths. This is heavy duty. This thing is a solid rig. All right, gave you extra hardware. I got extra straps. So if I don't want to have this pocket on there, or if I don't want to have, if I wanted to get even slim line and just the leather straps to screw in there without the buttons, I have that option as well. So great item. Now I believe the sheath is $209 by itself. With the accessory pack is another $109, $380. And that is quite a pricey sheath. I'm not going to say it, it's not. This is a high-end item. I do believe this can be a Now, some people would sale. ask, why would I spend $200 to $300 on a sheath for a knife that only costs $250? Or, for example, the K-Bar knife, which costs $60 to $120, depending on which model, and you have a $200 sheath. Well, here's my philosophy about sheaths. A sheath will make or break a knife, okay? And one thing that I will not buy, sometimes I will not purchase a knife, is because the sheath is too poor quality. I want you to think about it this way. You guys are walking around the woods. You're at, you're at a campsite or whatever. Your knife is going to stay in your sheath 90% of the time. All right? You're going to take it out, use it, and then put it back in the sheath. The sheath is going to act as a function of as a device to store the blade, to transport the blade, and protect the blade. Okay? So when you reach back there and your cheap Kydex sheath broke, or that cheap nylon sheath that you weren't paying attention to, the strap got cut off, and you're rolling around or jumping around and climbing the mountain and your knife falls out, it doesn't matter how nice the knife is, if the sheath's quality isn't good enough to maintain the protection of that knife so that knife can serve you the way it should. You, know, you want to really care, be careful of uh, some of these Kydex stuff, especially in cold weather, especially if you're going to be carrying something scout style where you're not looking at it all the time because something cracks and then all of a sudden you know that $15, $20 sheath that you put on there is going to be responsible for losing that two hundred fifty dollar knife so so I do I try not to go she cheap on my sheaths uh, sheaths are one of those things that you know I've seen some really great sheaths out there for example the Gerber LMF2 great knife even better sheath alright that knife that sheath makes that knife it ma gives function to that you know you have to use that sheath as a handle and strap that knife in to use the knife the knife's butt as a hammer I mean that's the way the knife but that's an integrate part of that system, all right? I think a good sheath, this sheath right here, is an integrate part to the Tom Brown Tracker T1 system. Even though the price tag is very steep, I, I can say this is worth every penny. If you're purchasing something that's 100% made in America by American-owned small business, uh, so I'm always big on supporting small businesses. It's one thing that made, makes America great. But for the 25-year warranty, I can tell you right now, any sheath you go out there and buy, you're going to spend between thirty and sixty dollars on a nylon sheath or a Kydex sheath that's prone to breakage. You're not going to have to repair this thing. This thing is going to last you a lifetime. This is something that I'm going to give to my children one day. So we have excellent construction, innovative design, awesome warranty. Look at HedgehogLeatherworks.com. Now you can shoot Paul an email. He's pretty quick with uh, getting responses back to people. He's always responded back to me pretty quickly if I have any questions about his products. If you have any questions or comments, please email me at Adam at EquippedToAdore.com. Guys, take care, be safe out there, and remember, if you're not always prepared, you're never prepared.